This lesson deals with other things that you can insert inside of a Word document. I'm going to bring you back uh, to, uh, I'm just going to put my insertion point down here, and I'm going to bring you back to here. And we talked about document properties a little while back and how you can change them in here. If I wanted to change the name of the author, I can. Um, I believe that I can, I can delete the name of this person and replace it with my name. And anything from here, we can have more properties, right? We can have uh, the name. Uh, we can give this a title. All right, all kinds of information. Now, with those uh, in mind, we, we can insert any of those in any parts of our document. I, I guess a header or footer would be a natural place to put them. So you can come into your header if you wanted to. And... Uh, this particular header, I'm just going to move this here, and I'm going to tab over twice. And I'd be able to insert any of those things. So I'm going to go to Quick Parts here and go to Document Property. And I can pick any one of these document properties. So if I wanted to put uh, my name or the title, I could. All right? And then that's automatically going to be there. So... They want you to know that you can insert document properties anywhere inside of your document. That's the first thing. The next thing you can put in there is something called an auto text. Now, if you come here, um, you've got your auto text. You've got your list right here. Um, your other choice is to save selection to auto text gallery. Let me explain this real quickly because right now I only have one auto text to choose from. Uh, certain companies. Uh, find themselves typing the same stuff over and over again. Of course, you can save it as a file. However, if it's just a little block of text that you find yourself using over and over again, like a paragraph or a sentence or several paragraphs, uh, I know that in the past when I've done some training for legal firms, they use auto text all the time because certain parts of certain laws and certain descriptions need to go into certain documents, right? So they've typed them and they've stored them as auto texts. So let's say that you like this right here and you want to be able to reuse this on a regular basis, okay, from any document. You would select it and then you go to Quick Parts and Auto Text, right, and you'd save the selection. And they want to know what do you want to what do you want to name this auto text? Okay? And this one I would call belief. Maybe if I spelt it right, it would make more sense. There you go. Belief. And I'm going to insert the content only, and I'm going to hit OK. So now that's been stored as an auto text. So anytime I want to insert that in any document now, I would simply go to Quick Parts and Auto Text. And now I have two to choose from. I have Become What You Think, and I have Belief. I want Belief to put in there. And boom, the formatting, everything went in there. Nice, easy, fast. All right, so that's an auto text. Next thing I want to talk about um, are fields. Now, for most of us who have never studied any coding or programming or anything like that, we simply want it to go in and we want it to work. But a field uh, are other values that are defined and saved within the document. You can insert a field that tells Word to supply specific information or perform a specific action in a certain way. Um, Inserting a field in a document displays the field value only. It doesn't show us how it came about getting that information. And to be honest, we most of us don't want to know. We don't want to see the code. Uh, the code that generates the value consists of some uh, some stuff um, that's in curly braces, and they're called switches anyway. And they, they basically refine what it is that's going on. Uh, different fields have different field options, and uh, some have general options. So I'm going to show you... Uh, Real basic stuff, okay? We're not going to get too deep into that. But again, we're going to insert quick parts and we're going to field to see the list, okay? Now, I don't know what most of these do. I, I really don't. Uh, I'll tell you one that I use all the time is date. But I don't use it from here. I'll show you how I use date uh, uh, next, okay? 
actually, I can show you now, right? Date and time would be right there, all right? And because I use it so often, I've added it to my quick uh, link toolbar. But here, this is just, I just wanna show you the field menu and how it works. So once you click on a type of field, it generates some options for you. So you can choose any one of these date options. Uh, and I can show you that one, all right? And this is the result that we will see. That's the only thing that really interests me. However, if you want to see the code, you can ask to see the code, and there you go. There's the code, all right? I'm gonna hide the code, and I would just simply insert that, all right? So I've just inserted that, and it's there. Uh, if you wanna see the code, you can, you can do a toggle field codes, and now I can see the code for that. I can't possibly imagine why I would do that, but they wanted me to teach you, so now you know that you can toggle the code. The other thing that you can do is I inserted that a minute, uh, not even a minute ago, so I don't know if it's changed, but you can right click and you can update that field. And it did change, it went from 1023 to 1024. They also want me to let you know, don't know why, that you can select this and then you can right click um, nope, it's select, sorry. So I've selected it. And if you do control F11, it will not update automatically, okay? If you wanna reverse that, again, I don't know why, but it's, it's in the books, I'm assuming it might be on the test. If you want it to be able to uh, update automatically, you go control shift F11, and now this can update automatically. Uh, if you want to see the codes, once again, you just toggle field codes. For regular date and time, I'm just going to get rid of that now. When I just want a regular date and time, all right, I, if I'm on this toolbar, great, but I'm not usually, right? I'm usually home or page layout or something. I've just added it to here, right? And it gives me a similar menu to what I had before. It's not asking for code or anything like that. It's just simple everyday user type of stuff, right? Two things I want you to know, you would just click on the style that you want. If you want that to become your default style, and I would, this is the style I prefer for, for date and time, so you can say, yeah, from now on, give me that, all right? And then from now on, whenever I open a document, it will do that. Be very careful of this, however. Now, um, in this document, <clears throat> if I click this, every time someone opens this document, the date will reflect that date, okay, the day they open it. So you need to determine, do I want them to know the date that this was originally created and not have it update, or do I want it to automatically update whenever they open the document? So that's your choice to make every time you insert date. So I'm gonna say, no, don't update. I want them to know when this was created. And there is my date and time. And if I hit date and time again, it defaulted to that. I just hit okay, and it's in. So those are how to insert document properties, auto texts, fields, um, and date and time is probably the most popular of the fields, but you've seen that there's a huge menu there. And if you want to geek it up with some code, you can go ahead.